there. Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from March 28th to April 3rd. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you. It may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Cancer, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for this coming week is the Hermit. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Devil in reverse. Okay. So Cancer, your challenge here has a lot to do with the Hermit energy. I do strongly feel it's been very difficult for you to really figure out what it is that you want here, okay? What your path is in terms of your direction. The Hermit often talks about, you know, needing solitude, needing time on our own, needing to take time out to really get clear on something, um, perhaps something that is changing or happening in your life. We're gonna clarify the Hermit and see why it's your challenge and what the important message is here for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the world, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like in the recent past, there was some sort of conclusion that happened. Something here came to an end, something wrapped up, closed out for you. I do feel like this situation that closed out for you was a very difficult and trying situation. I do feel for many of you, a new offer of love may have came in, maybe a new love came in, or it could have been someone here that you ended things with, wanted to maybe work things out with you and have a new beginning. Okay, we're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Hanged Man. So I feel like in the present moment, there's some very quick and fast uh, communication or presence around you. I do feel for many of you, there could be an offer that's coming in, possibly from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting a Pisces here, okay? But what I'm also seeing here is, is that even though one of you, okay, either you or your person wants to take action, the other person is having a hard time taking action here okay even though there's a promise I feel like there's some sort of promise in the present moment with the nine of cups we're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment now in the near future you have the four of wands the seven of wands and the page of cups so I feel like in the near future there is going to be some sort of offer that's made to you so either um, this could be someone offering you something here or you could be offering someone something here which may lead to something very stable could be a relationship that's coming in for you uh some of you a new home okay there's some sort of solid stability that's coming in for you however when this offer is made and i do feel this offer has a lot to do with an apology it could be a confession or an apology that is made in the near future someone here is very closed off to it or they're very guarded and defensive okay and we're going to see why that may be the case when we clarify in a moment now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the devil high priestess six of swords Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups in reverse, okay? So what you don't see coming, Cancer, is the fact that for many of you, uh, you disengaged from a particular person. I feel like it was a specific person, could have been a Pisces here. I'm getting a Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, a Libra. Okay, that you withdrew from. Even if this person isn't one of these signs, they have characteristics that are associated with one of these signs. I do feel like this person who you disengaged from will eventually come back around, okay? And I do feel like this person is gonna come back around either um, in April or in May. Even though this reading is very specific, it is preparing you for what is potentially coming. I do feel this person that disconnected from you was someone that you believed at one point you were going to have a long-term commitment with, a long-term relationship, but for some reason, a promise 
was broken or there was some sort of disappointment. And that's why for many of you, you have either withdrawn from this person or you are planning on withdrawing your energy from this person. Okay. So what you don't see coming is, is that even though you've let go of this person and you've somewhat forgotten about them, or you feel there is no more connection between you and this person, there is still a strong indicator that this person eventually will try to come back. Okay. And that's what you don't see coming. Now let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. All right, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so your challenge, Cancer, is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Your biggest challenge here, Cancer, has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of you have been reminiscing about a very difficult situation that you've gone through. I feel like you've been spending a lot of time on your own or you have you find it very difficult to find that time to be on your own. And the reason why is because a lot of you are moving into a new direction. You've planned to move into a new direction or you're preparing to move into a new direction. And there's something here about a disappointment. Okay, so you may have had some sort of disappointment with the five of cups here. Okay, if we see this woman, she's crying, she's disappointed in something here that didn't work out in her life. The wheel of fortune is beside that. And what spirit is saying is, is that there is an opportunity in this pain that you experience to prepare to move into a new direction, which is definitely a part of your destiny. So there's something here about you being able to spend that quality time on your own to really look within to go within, to recognize the uh, trials and tribulations that you've had, but to overcome that with the Wheel of Fortune here. And by you planning and preparing to move into this new direction that you're moving into, it is going to prepare you for some sort of significant change. And what we often find with the Five of Cups is there's often two cups in the background, if you look at this card, you'll see there's two cups in the tree here with the time, with the clock here, which is representing that for many of you, you are going to be attracting a relationship, okay, after some sort of painful situation. So if you're someone who's single or you've been having difficulties in your relationships, I feel like that is going to change as long as you're consciously aware of the challenges that are presented to you in the present moment, which for many of you has a lot to do with you needing to plan and prepare to move into a new direction. Okay. So your biggest challenge here is to plan and prepare to move into a new direction and not be overwhelmed by your emotions because of a bad situation that happened in the past so that you don't block new and very beneficial opportunities that may be coming into your life. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing as your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the world. Okay, so the world is clarified by the death, the king of cups, and the five of pentacles. So I do feel cancer in the recent past for many of you. There was a very significant ending, okay? A relationship came to an end. A, um, a situation doesn't have to be a relationship, but for majority of you, it is a relationship that did come to an end. It was very painful, very emotional for you. But even though this ending did take place and someone here disconnected from you, for some of you, it was a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting Scorpio really strong here. Could have also been a Taurus or a Virgo. I'm also getting Leo, uh, Sagittarius here for many of you, and Aquarius, okay? So somebody here did end things. I do feel for many of you, you were the one um, who ended things here. But even though something ended here in the past, I do feel like there was a new opportunity, okay, in love. Even if there wasn't new love that came in, some of you started to become very passionate about some sort of new beginning here. And this could have involved a work situation, maybe collaborating with other people here in the past. Uh, for others of you, this is about someone here who wanted to work things out with you in the past. Okay. And they tried to maybe offer you new love after they disconnected. So some of you were dealing with someone here who abandoned you, left you, disconnected, ended things, and then decided in the recent past to come back around and maybe work things out with you. 
Okay. So this is what I'm seeing here in the recent past. Now in the present moment, I do feel there's some sort of fast, swift movement with the Knight of Swords. This could be someone coming into your life. This could be an idea, a situation, a circumstance. I don't necessarily feel this as a person. For some of you, this is a specific person, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. For others of you, this is an idea. Okay. I'm getting, this is more of an idea than it is a person. So we're going to clarify and see what this swift movement is that is coming into your life that you should be prepared for. But first I want to clarify the hangman. Okay. So for many of you, you're dealing with someone in the present moment who's either not taking action towards you, or you may not be taking action. What's the important message here for the hangman for cancer? So the hangman is clarified by the magician, the fool, and the eight of wands. Someone in the present moment is trying to communicate with you. For many of you, I feel like this has a lot to do with someone here who really is trying to manifest a new beginning with you, very similar to whatever happened in the past. This person wants to bring happiness to you. This person wants to see that possibly you have some sort of new beginning with them. Tell me more about the nine of cups in the present moment for cancer. What's the important message here? So the nine of cups is clarified by the justice, the seven of cups and the eight of pentacles. So I do feel cancer for many of you. The nine of cups is your energy. A lot of you have been learning in the present moment to love yourself. You've been learning what makes you happy. What is actually something that you can put your effort and mind and energy to that is going to bring you fulfillment. So there's a very big lesson that a lot of you have learned. And what you've learned in the present moment is I don't need to rely on anybody. I don't need to rely on anyone to bring me happiness. And because you've detached from this situation and you've learned to really find satisfaction and fulfillment within yourself, whether you're in a relationship or not, for many of you, what you are attracting to you right now is someone here wanting to work things out with you. You have the justice card here. You have the eight of pentacles, which is surrounding the seven of cups, which is telling me that in the present moment, there is some sort of situation in your life that has been very confusing for you. And I do feel like this is connected to a specific person that you've had some sort of issues with. I do feel that this person who wants to work things out with you, this could be someone who you work with. This could also be someone that you're in a current relationship with or someone here who wants to work on your relationship uh, together. Okay. Now, for others of you, I feel in the present moment, right when you're about to, you know, have your options open, there's something here about you having options open and lots of people are interested in either dating you or being with you. You have options. That's what I feel here. Someone here feels like they want to work things out with you with the eight of pentacles here. Okay. And the justice. So I feel cancer, you're in a really good place right now, because even though someone here wants to work things out with you, it's almost like you don't really care. I'm getting like, I don't really care. You know, if you want to work things out with me, that's great, but I'm not really going to make an effort. There's something here about you not really feeling like you want to make an effort. And that's why someone here, Knight of Swords, is coming in very quickly because they may sense cancer that you're about to move on. There's something here about you moving on or, or being prepared to move on because you're recognizing your life is going to be so much better moving into this new direction. And some of you have already either planned to move in this direction or you're doing it already. So who is this person in the present moment with the Knight of Swords? So the Knight of Swords is clarified by the world, the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So whoever this person is, is someone here who has been very on and off with you. This could have been someone here who ended things with you in the past. I do feel like this person is trying to have a new beginning with you. They want to celebrate some sort of new beginning. And this may be a part of some sort of decision, Cancer, that you have to make, especially if this is someone from your past who hurt you. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here in the present moment. Now, in the near future, I do see right away, you have the Knight of Cups here in reverse, which is your energy. I do feel in the near future, for many of you, you are going to be somewhat unstable in terms of your emotions, okay? And the reason why you're you know, somewhat unstable in the near future is because for many of you, you went through a very bad experience, Five of Cups as your challenge. And getting over this, um, you know, cheating, lying, deception, 
pain, trauma, promises, broken promises. A lot of you are still in this place of trying to ground yourself. I do feel if you're moving uh, in the near future, I do see it being very successful for you, you being very happy. However, when it comes to somebody here in the near future, trying or wanting to apologize to you, you may be closed off or this could be vice versa. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign in the near future, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Either way, I do see in your reading, someone is coming back to you. And this week could be that week when this person comes back around, especially cancer, if you freed yourself. Many of you have freed yourself from some sort of situation. And ever since you freed yourself from this situation, you've been in this place of what does my life mean moving forward? And that's why you still attract someone here from your past because they still feel a very strong connection to you, okay? So let's clarify the Page of Cups. What is this apology, this confession that's coming in for cancer in the near future? So the Page of Cups is clarified by the Strength, the Six of Wands, and the Emperor. Whoever this person is in the near future, um, I have two stories. The first story is if you are someone who is moving on and you have a new opportunity to date someone and they're coming into your life again, I'm getting Aquarius, Aries, Leo. Leo is really strong here. A Pisces, maybe a Scorpio for some of you. Whoever this person is, they believe that they can have success and stability with you and they're going to try to get your attention. And this may lead to a relationship for some of you. But for others of you who have someone who is coming back, I do strongly feel that this person still believes that there's an opportunity to have success and stability with you, especially with the emperor energy here. Okay. We see the emperor. This is someone here who's very, very certain of what they want. Problem I'm seeing here, cancer is someone here is still very much closed off to outsiders. And this may be you or your person. Tell me more about the seven of wands in the near future for cancer. So the seven of wands is clarified by the seven of swords, the judgment and the nine of cups. So I feel like you are the seven of wands because one of the things that I did pick up, especially in your reading in the present moment is you are the nine of cups as well too. You want some sort of justice in the present moment. You want to work something out, but you're also confused as to whether or not that's going to happen or how it's going to happen. So in the near future, you're still in this place of, you know what, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to satisfy myself. And you have the judgment and seven of swords. So a lot of you are going to witness someone here who treated you wrong, who does go through their karma, who does experience some sort of wake up call. And that's why I feel in the near future, this person is going to try everything possible to come back around and be with you. And for many of you, you're not interested in someone here from the past because you don't want to go back to this place of being abandoned hurt, cheated on, and lied to, okay? So I see a new opportunity coming in. You have the Ace of Cups in your reading here from the past, and you also have it in the present moment. So new love is around, um, but you also have to be aware of someone from your past that is very much gonna try to come back and you know be with you and have that stability um, with you, okay? So let's find out what this relationship is all about in the near future for you. Tell me more about the Four of Wands for Cancer. Four of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Swords. You have the Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands. I still feel in the near future, a lot of you are gonna be very much closed off to love. Okay, um, for a certain amount of time. And like I said, it's because you're still moving into a new direction. You're still trying to get comfortable in releasing someone here. I do see for many of you, something here is going to come to an end. So if there's been a toxic relationship, a uh, relationship where there's been a lot of competition, cheating, lying, a lot of you are not going to have that anymore. You are saying, no, I want to move forward into a new direction and I want change. That's what I'm seeing in the near future. So let's get some advice for you. So the advice for you, Cancer, is the Six of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Cups. Very important message for you in the near future that you are 
being called to here. Okay. And what I'm seeing for many of you is, is that your, your ancestor spirit guides are saying to you that you need to tap into your intuition. There's something here about spending time on your own, removing distractions, removing the TV, removing the cell phone, removing all the outside noise and really tapping into your spirituality. I do feel for many of you, your biggest piece of advice moving forward is to disconnect from some sort of situation that has caused you pain. You no longer want to be in this place of being upset angry, mad, constantly in this place of being on edge. And spirit is saying, if you truly want to be able to tap into your innermost um, feelings of love and feeling stable and balanced, you need to be honest with yourself about some sort of situation that you need to disconnect from. By you disconnecting from this situation, Cancer, you're going to be able to get back to who you truly are, which is the Queen of Cups, loving, sensitive, and very understanding. But until then, there's a reason why a lot of you have been doing things on your own, and it's because you want to be in this place of happiness. You want to be in this place of balance, and it often starts with you. Okay, so your biggest piece of advice here is to identify what in your life has caused you pain, when and how you can move away from the situation in order to get back to being you. Okay. So cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.